Hi everyone and welcome to my YouTube channel. Today I'm going to show you how you can use ChatGPT to automate your daily task in Excel. I will show you how ChatGPT can generate for your Visual Basic scripts and also spreadsheet formulas. And to show this I'm going to use the following example. Let's imagine you are the sales director of international company and you have multiple sales department across the country. And at the end of the year, sales managers from each of those offices sending you the Excel file with the results of the year. And you need to combine it into one report. And in order to start, let's create those reports, which kind of sent from those offices around the country. And to do that, I'm going to use ChatGPT, of course. And if you don't know what is ChatGPT and how to use it, watch this video on my channel. I'll put the link in the description below. And let's go to the ChatGPT window and ask the following question. Please create Visual Basic script to generate 10 Excel files in the directory. Let's specify the directory where we want those files to be generated. Our files should be called as a random USA states slash underscore sales. Each file should contain worksheets with three columns, month sales and profit, and generate data for 12 months with sales in the range of 10,000 USD and profit in the range to 5%. Let's press submit and let's wait what ChatGPT will generate for us. Okay, our code is ready. Let's copy it and let's go to the Excel file. So let's create a new Excel file and uh, now we need to open Visual Basic Editor. To do that, if you're using Windows, then you need to press Alt F11. And if you're using Mac OS, then you have to press Function Option F11. Now Visual Basic Editor is open. Now let's create new module. Insert module and let's paste our code. Okay, now we can run this code. To do that, we just need to press this blue play button. Okay, let's see what's happening. We can see that multiple files get created with the USA state name and underscore sales. And let's go to the folder and here we are. We have a list of uh, files, uh, 10 files with USA name and sales. And we can see that they have some data inside. Let's open one of them. Okay, we have, we have month, we have sales and we have profit. It's just random data generated by Visual Basic script. It's exactly what we need. Okay. Now when we have 10 different files in the one folder, let's create a summary report which will contain information from all of those files. So for that, let's create new Excel file. Let's call it, uh, let's call it summary. And uh, let's then ask ChatGPT to create a Visual Basic script for us, which will go and grab the data from all of those 10 files and put them into one file. Now let's go to ChatGPT and give it the following task. Please create Visual Basic script that creates table in the file. So let's specify the directory to the file. With the list of the file names from the directory, let's put the directory name where we have all those 10 files. And please keep only the state name and near the each file name, please calculate the sum of the sales column from each file. Now let's press execute button and wait when ChatGPT will generate Visual Basic script for us. And while we're waiting, please don't forget to subscribe to the channel and hit the like button. And our script is ready. Now we're going up, copy it, and let's go to our summary Excel file. We're pressing Alt F11 or functional option F11 if you're using MacBook like me. Going to the Visual Basic Editor, paste our code and run it. And as we can see, the script is checking each of those 10 files and updating our summary report. And we can see here that new lines get appeared and looks like everything done. Let's go and check. Let's open our summary Excel file. And here we are. We have a list of all 10 files and the script left only US state name. And we also have a total sum of all sales per year. And that is exactly what we asked for. And what we can see that ChatGPT can create Visual Basic script for us, which are working. Now let's test a few more examples. For instance, let's ask ChatGPT to create worksheet formula for us, which will define which of those profits 
from different offices are more than 70,000, for example, and mark them as plan completed. And those which are less than 70,000, then mark them as plan non-completed. So let's give the following task to ChatGPT. Please write Excel formula for column C, which equals plan completed if column B more than 70,000 and non-completed if less than 70,000. Let's press execute and let's see what will be the outcome. Of course, this formula will be very easy, but sometimes we just don't remember very simple formula. And we can go whether to the Google and ask it there and then construct the formula by ourselves. But now we have another option. We can go to the chat GPT and ask exactly what we need. And we're getting the final version of formula. We don't need to change it, customize that. So we just can copy and paste it. And that's exactly what we need. Okay, our formula is almost ready. Let's copy it. Let's go back to our Excel file, paste it. And let's just change the cell to the B2 and press enter. Okay, that's done. Now let's apply it for entire column and you see it's working. Now we have only two lines which are marked as plan completed, which is exactly what we asked for. Let's give a final test task to the chat GPT, which will be creation and email address based on the city and the template. Okay, let's give a following task to the chat GPT. Please create Excel formula to create email address from text in column A and template.sales at company.com. And let's press execute. So again, it's going to be very simple formula, but we could forget about it, right? And now we're just giving exactly what we need and we should receive formula, which is doing exactly what we need, right? So here we are, we have a concatenation of the cell and template. So let's copy that. Let's read what's explanation text given. Yeah, so it's very detailed explanation. So if you're absolutely new in Excel, so it will be very useful. So we're going back, let's paste it. And again, we need to change the cell and let's just extend it. And here we are, it's working, right? So we're getting custom email for all our offices. Now we can send them emails. For those who completed the plan, we can congratulate them. And for those who didn't complete the plan, we could probably have some discussion, which kind of problem they faced and so on and made some new plans for the new year. But that's a different story. I'll create a separate video, how to use ChatGPT to create a script for us to send custom emails. So subscribe to the channel, not to miss the next video. And that's all what I plan to share with you today. So hit the like button if the video was useful for you. Please leave your comment and see you in the next video very soon. Bye-bye.